Hello again, overcomers. Deidre here. Um, just checking in again. We've got another awesome mentor today that has a special message for you. We've got Ben. Yay. Hey, everybody. Yay. <laughs> All right, here, I'm going to turn it over to him. And uh, yeah, here we go. Well, first of all, hey guys, um, it's good. I was just telling Deidre it's nice, uh, or I was thinking this at least, I don't know if I said it, but it's nice to see people even through a computer screen and hear their voice, um, even if we can't see each other. So I miss you guys. I miss hanging out and breaking bread on Tuesdays. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I have a few quarantine rules that I'm, I'm trying to, to follow myself here. So um, <clears throat> These are just some recommendations. You don't have to follow these exactly, but I thought they'd be helpful. Um, the, there's just two of them. The first one is uh, you have to brush your teeth before noon, just sometime before noon. That's, that's my rule for myself. Um, and then rule two is have weekday underpants and weekend underpants. And that's, those have been my two basic rules I've been going by. Um, and I've mostly been keeping to that. I may have fudged a little bit, um, but all the time alone is I've been asking myself some super hard questions. Like the other day I was thinking, do you think the kangaroos, they have that little pouch, do they keep, they keep like snacks in their pouch, like a Nutrigrain bar or some Gatorade? Um, just the tough questions that you ask, you know, when, when, you're, when you're all alone and have nothing else to do. But, Sometimes you gotta ask yourself those questions. Um, maybe on a more serious note, uh, I was talking to my dad the other day and I was thinking of something meaningful to say and uh, I don't have uh, there uh, very many meaningful things to say, but my dad had something meaningful to say in our conversation, so I'll share it with you. And he shared the story of uh, when the disciples were out with Jesus on the boat uh, and Jesus goes down to like, whatever the, the belly of a, a boat is called, and he takes a nap. Um, and I guess he left all the disciples like on top of the deck to take care of things themselves because they were sailors, at least a handful of them, they knew what to do. And uh, so there's this like horrible storm and they're all freaking out and they run down to Jesus and they wake him up and they're like, hey, there's a storm, we're gonna die. And Jesus performs a miracle and like he stops the storm and it's calm and it's quiet uh, and then they kind of have a conversation after that um, and they're, they're kind of blown away at, at the power that Jesus has to do miracles and they're like man who is this guy even though they, they already knew him or spending time with him but something that I had uh, not thought about that my dad said he had never thought about that somebody pointed out to him was um, not just you know everybody always talks about oh the miracle that Jesus performed or how the disciples were freaking out and maybe scared when there was uh, all this insanity happening. But one thing that my dad said, he was like, I've, I've never realized until somebody pointed out the other day that when they first put out to sea and Jesus goes and takes a nap, uh, that he wasn't caught off guard by the fact that there was a storm happening. He knew that there was going to be a storm and he let them set out to sail anyway, and he took care of them. As I thought that was kind of interesting of just uh, not even focusing on the miracle, not even focusing on the disciples being scared and, and worried and running down and panicking and thinking they were going to die, but just the fact that Jesus was like, I know where we're going, and this may seem like chaos, but I have a plan. I have everything taken care of, even to the point where he goes down and takes a nap just like a regular person would. I thought that was kind of cool. So, I think the takeaway for that for me was going, um, God isn't sitting up in heaven talking with Jesus and the Holy Spirit isn't, isn't uh, in our houses and in our, our hearts going, oh man, I had no idea there was going to be some type of illness in the year 2020. Um, but he did know that it was going to happen and he does have a plan and sometimes it's hard to understand and I don't think it's for us to understand. I certainly hope it's not for me to understand because uh, we're really limited in our intelligence if I'm the guy who needs to know what's going on right now. But that God does have it under control, this didn't catch him off guard. And um, I just try to 
read my Bible more and be praying more than I ever have and, and uh, help where I can help. And I, I think that that's, you know, even if you're super limited in how you can help, um, right now is a good time to uh, check on your neighbors, uh, stuff like that. I, I will say this is how I've been checking on my neighbors. Uh, instead of knocking on the door, um, I check on them like this. I go, hey, Karen, you doing all right over there? And, uh, you know, it's just, that's one way, one thing you can do. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, go out for a walk or run, you know, just to stay, like, keep a good distance from people. Um, see how many jumping jacks you can do. I made a list here. Count all the corners in your house. 194 uh, at the uh, Ben residence. Um, give all your furniture names. So instead of going and sitting on the couch, you can say, I'm going to talk to Janice for a while. Or instead of cooking something on the stove, you can say, I'm going to go visit Michael and see what's going on in his world right now. Um, and then uh, maybe learn one new thing. So when we reconvene on Tuesday, whatever Tuesday it is that we reconvene and get to have a giant celebration and shake hands and not look at each other like we're zombies, uh, keeping our distance, but we get to embrace again and hang out and talk and sit at the same table. Uh, my one request is that uh, uh, when you see me, you tell me the one thing you learned. For example, the thing that I learned is uh, people posted on Facebook that when you clean things, you don't mix bleach and ammonia. And that's good for me to hear because I would have been passed out in my bathroom trying to clean things if I didn't know that. So I was very grateful for that fact. Um, I'm sure there's something else that I'll learn between now and uh, whenever we see each other again. But um, anyway, it's good to talk to you guys. I hope you're doing well. Hang in there. Your responsibility is to take it one day at a time. You don't have to know what's going to happen uh, next week because nobody does and nobody ever did. And that's fine. So uh, just enjoy today. Get through today. Uh, be healthy today. And, uh, and we'll see each other again, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thanks, man. That was awesome. There were so many good ideas in there. I'm definitely naming all of my furniture. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm going to go spend some time with Janice. <laughs> Just check on Janice. See how she's doing. <laughs> Got to check She's lonely in. there in the living room. You know, keep her some company. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Ben. And we will hopefully see each other soon. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.